you can not think the Middle East without taking uh, a pair of classes and calling those classes the oil market. It's only through the lens of these oil market classes that one can understand the Middle East. I always say World War One is not yet over in the Middle East because it was not the famous Mark uh, Sykes-Picot uh, agreement that created the Middle East. It was uh, the oil agreement in 1920 according to which pipelines were traced and once the pipelines were done uh, the state's uh, borders were created. Uh, so anything that has happened between Iran, Iraq, Syria, Jordan it was often in the name of oil and that we could definitely see also during the war of uh, 2003 uh, which was in my eyes a lot about oil, not exclusively but it had, uh, uh, it had a role to play and while the US and many Western governments are uh, gradually moving out of the Middle East because they are not anymore so much dependent on those oil fields, it's uh, China, it's India, it's Malaysia that are moving in. And I wouldn't exclude that one day we will see a pro-Chinese, a pro-Indian uh, colonel, secular, who will run some sort of petrolistan in a reshuffled Gulf area. So it's all about easy to drill, namely cheap oil, and that's what makes those countries uh, so much dependent on the oil interests of, uh, of the power, which is currently number one on the agenda. And uh, once upon a time it was the UK, followed by the US, and definitely in the near future it will be the Asians who will have a bigger say in those areas. Uh, in the name of oil, like did the others before.